had some requests to reteach the F chord part on Hesitation Blues by Gary Davis. The key to this is not thinking about it too much. It's really pretty simple, but when you start thinking about it, then it becomes difficult. That's true about a lot of things. But let me break this down as far as I can. This is kind of raw, but I'll just do this, and hopefully from what I do here, you'll be able to figure it out. The key is you're keeping the F chord when you're playing it. Don't move the F chord. I'm not going to move fingers. You're just keeping it right there for the whole part. We lead into it. And I assume that's the part that you're asking about. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hammer, hit an open third string, and then come down on it. And we're also catching the fourth string. And right as I come down on it, that's when I'm pinching the bass note. The alternating bass is starting with the first fret of the sixth string, the F note. So one more time, let me just show you that part of it. See how I come down? And then, as I come down with my thumb onto the fourth string for the alternating bass, I'm also pinching the second string, which in the F chord is fretted at the first fret of the second string. So let's do that. So that lead-in note is that open, G. So hopefully you can figure that part out. I've broken it down about as far as I can. Now let's go to the next part. So after we pin, i got to play it in context or I can't, I can't do it. treble string, that's basically what we're playing, but the key is getting it in sync with the bass notes. So let's do it again. Let me do it again. So it's here. Get the sequence, and then you can put it all together. So thumb, finger, thumb. Get that where the bass notes fit in, and when they're pinched together, and when they're separate. So let me do that again. So try that. similar to what you did at the beginning. One more time all the way through. So same thing, leading in. So one more time. So we're doing a pinch. string and the second string but as I'm coming down and that melody is like that one more time all the way that's the whole phrase Just 
mess with it until you can can get it. Try different different approaches. That's all. I never really broke it down and figured it out. I just kind of played it. Try to keep the alternating bass going. And just play that on top of it, the melody. So one more time all the way through. string. And that happens on the last part. I missed that the first time through. She's probably confused the crap out of you, but that's... Let me play it one more time. Whoops. Oh. Thinking too much. around. Hopefully somewhere in there the light clicked on. I wish I had time to do this better, but that's as good as I can do for now. If you have questions, still send me another one. I'll try to redo this a little better when I have some time.